Welcome back to Decked Out. Today, we are joined by Zbex and V, one of our local judges. And on today's episode, we're going to be doing $50 budget lists. One of our lists was actually submitted by a patron. And as always, our episode is brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc., EDH Rec, and Dragon Shield. But more on that later. Let's go ahead and meet the players. Hello, everyone. I'm Zbex. I'm a professional cosplayer and Magic the Gathering personality. Today, I'm playing Kelsian the Plague. I'm going to be flinging around a bunch of damage to gain experience counters. And I'm sure hoping that I'll be able to pull out a couple of other experienced creatures, Kalemni and Minthara. Hello, everybody. I'm MTG Nerd Squirrel. I mean, MTG Nerd Girl. And we are playing Chatterfang today, the Squirrel General. This is actually one of our patrons submitted list. And in it, we are going to be making a ton of little squirrels and taking advantage of them with things like Blood Artist. Hey, my name's V. Uh, I'm an L2 judge, and today I'm going to be playing the Archimandrite. The goal of the deck is to draw a bunch of cards, gain a bunch of life, and play a bunch of really rad monks from the history of magic. A card that I'm really hoping to see this game is Jeskai Ascendancy. I think that it's going to really help me dig to find all of the other pieces that I need. I'm also running a full Sunforger package and my old friend, Monastery Mentor. Hi, I'm Veggie Wagon, and today I'm going to be playing Jory N Ruin Diver. Nerd Girl made this deck for me, and I know it's going to be a good time because I'm going to be drawing cards and playing spells. I peeked a little bit, and I saw that she included Vadric, which is one of my favorite cards, which will make it easier to play multiple spells in a turn. And she did let me know that she blew like half the budget on the deck on Teferi Temporal Pilgrim. That's going to be great. Before we get into the gameplay, let's take a minute to introduce you to our sponsors. CoolStuffInc.com is the best place to pick up anything from singles to sealed product. And don't forget to use code DGEN at checkout for 5% off your order. And if you need a little deck building inspiration, head over to EDHREC.com where they can help you to find the best synergies to match your budget and style. And now that you've got your deck list, you're gonna need some new sleeves. Head on over to Dragon Shield where they have all of your accessory needs covered. We have links in the description below. And don't forget, there's always a free way you can support us as well. You can always like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support us directly, you can head over to our Patreon, where you can find perks like tokens signed by guests on the show, spell table games with the cast, and even the chance to submit your own deck list for us to play here on the show. And that's enough from us. Let's get into the gameplay. All right. Let's roll. See you guys first. 17. Nine. I also got nine. 16. I'm ready. Let's play. All right. Draw a card, play a planes, and we are going to play an ivory tower and then pass the turn. I have a turn one play too. I'm going to go swamp for the turn and I'm going to play a cauldron familiar, a one one that when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses a life. I gain a life and I can sacrifice a food to put it back onto the battlefield. I'm ha sorry, I'm just having constructed flashbacks. Constructed flashbacks. We each lose one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, I'm winning. And then I will pass my turn. Okay. I will draw for my turn. Play a swamp. Tap it to cast Warlock Class. It's an enchantment with the class type. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life. I would like to do what Nerd Girl is doing. It looks fun. <laughs> Only if I can produce food tokens. That's what haunts you. Okay, pass turn. I'm gonna respond with this island and passing the turn. <laughs> Upkeep, uh, so I am going to gain X life, where X is the number of cards in my hand, minus four. I have six cards in my hand, so I am going to gain two life. And I'm gonna draw a card. For my land, I'm going to play Volatile Fjord, and then pass the turn. All right, a uh, pretty easy turn. Let's go forest and tap for an Arcane Signet for the turn. I don't like that I'm no longer in the lead. So Cauldron Familiar is gonna come into the red zone at UV. Yeah, I think that's fair. I will take the one. And now I'm winning again. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a mountain. Pay two to upgrade my warlock class to level two. When this class becomes level two, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. 
Oh, this is one of my favorite cards in all of Magic. <laughs> but this one's better for the deck. Oh gosh. Okay, hang on. No, okay. I'm going to put this card into my hand and the rest into my graveyard so you'll get to see them. I have Void Beckoner and Smuggler's Copter in my graveyard. And Smuggler's Copter is one of my favorite cards that gets banned from every format. So I play it in every format that I can. <laughs> all right. Writes down, took the good card, not the favorite card. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so note that I went for the W, not the F for flavor. Okay, and then af after that, I will be passing the turn. Okay. All right, I'm going to play a Shivan Reef. You, you all are playing plenty of cards. I don't think I need to contribute to that. I'm going to pass the turn. Oh, Fair. my goodness. Uh, upkeep, Ivory Tower is going to trigger again. I, again, have six cards in hand, so I'm going to gain two life. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play a planes, and we are going to play my first creature. Jeskai Elder is a 1-2 uh, human monk with prowess that says whenever Jeskai Elder deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. So this loots. I actually have the loot. <laughs> I'm jelly. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to pass my turn. Let's draw. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little upset that Zbax is trying to do do my thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just play a swamp for turn. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a reclamation save. Don't waste your enchantment removal on me. And That's a little early in the game. And it's too late, I already cast it, <laughs> judge. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna hit that warlock class, uh, my dearest Zbex, I'm sorry. I was so far from level three. How could you do this to me? I'm gonna remember that. I can't believe Nerd Girl is coming after my enchantment already. I barely gotten to do anything with it. I'm going to send the heat over to her direction to let her know a message. Knock it off. Fair, fair. Oh man, we are sleeping under the same roof. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to lock my door for that one. Uh, and then let's go after vegetable. I haven't even played anything. Well. Can I counter that attack? No. Take one. Yeah, and Judge, can I counter that attack? No. Oh, okay. I'll take one. Uh, pass the turn. I will draw my card for the turn. Command tower. I will tap three and play Kelsian the Plague. Commander has hit the battlefield. <clears throat> Kelsian the Plague is a 2 2 legendary creature, human assassin, vigilance, haste, plus one, plus one for each experience counter that I have. And I can tap Kelsian to deal one damage to target creature you don't control. When that creature dies this turn, I get an experience counter. And there are two great targets <laughs> on the person's battlefield who just recently offended me. So since Kelsian has haste, Veggie, sorry, you're just sitting there. Huh? I'm gonna attack you for two with my commander. Okay. Huzzah. Take two. And then, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to damage yet. Judge. <laughs> so I've declared Thank goodness my... you're here. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do without me? After declaring Veggie as an attacker, I will then tap Kelsian to deal one damage to the reclamation stage, giving me one experience counter. So now Kelsian is three power and three toughness. Pass turn. Am I going to break my streak and actually play a card here? Pay three and cast Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. Tap and exile an instant or sorcery card from my hand. Put three counters on it. At my upkeep, I remove a counter from it. And when they're all gone, I get to cast it for four discount. Yeah. So like quasi suspend. That's cool. Right? Nice. As Nasari, I'm slightly offended that you played the wrong side of the card. Now it just means you have to cosplay this side. Ah! <laughs> you know, I'll do this side. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I pass my turn. Awesome. I have five cards, so I will only gain one life off of my ivory tower. Uh, I will play a Shivan Reef. Tap three. Taking one from the Shivan Reef. Uh, and I'm going to play a Jeskai Ascendancy. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, creatures I control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. I untap those creatures. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I may draw a card. If I do, discard a card. So I'm looking to draw 
a lot of cards this game looks like it talk about uh, being haunted from standard hey, hey. just guy ascendancy was a fun standard environment uh, i am going to also get a prowess trigger off of my just guy elder from casting the just guy ascendancy so uh, i'm gonna rumble in and i'm going to hit nerd girl for two i got nothing and when it hits i'm going to trigger the loot so i'm gonna draw a card and then I am going to discard a card. I'm going to discard a Reflections of Lit Jara. I really hate discarding Reflections this early in the game, but I don't have many creatures in hand. I've mainly got spells, and I think that I'd much rather dig for something more useful. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just start by tapping three, and I'm gonna go ahead and just play my commander. We're gonna play a Chatterfang Squirrel General, and it says whenever one or more token enters the battlefield, I put that many tokens plus that many 1-1 one, one Squirrel tokens into play as well. And I can sacrifice X Squirrels, and target creature gets plus X minus X. So the Squirrel Lord is here. And you know what? I'm gonna try to make peace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Well then, uh, untap up, keep draw. Your deck looks scary. No, don't pay attention to me over here. I'm, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm just vibing. Okay, I will play a land for the turn and cast General Kudro of Duranis. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. When General Kudro or another human ETBs under my control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Who's got stuff in the graveyard? I have, I have a sage. I have a Reflections of Lit Jara. Does that have flashback? It does not. It's an enchantment. I don't trust it for some reason, so I'm going to choose that card to be exiled. Bad yeah, things fair. have happened with Reflections before. I'm having Reflections of the past. I can also do other stuff if I sacrifice two humans, destroy target creature with power four or greater. It's a good card, but I don't know why everybody wanted this banned well since you played nice with me i could play nice with you for now and just let everybody know that i have kelsey and open don't mess with me Fair. vibes i will pass my turn okay turn my card ah oh, yes i guess there's some success there if, if that's my reaction to drawing cards out of this deck when i built it i was channeling my inner veggie i made silly faces everything it was great is that all I am to you? Yeah, that's fair. Um, <laughs> I picked out stupid cards and I made dumb faces. I'm like, well, all right, that's accurate. Vadric, Astral Archmage. If it's not day or night, becomes day. Instant and sorceries, I cast cost X less to cast, where X is Vadric's power. And whenever it switches between day and night, I put a plus one plus one counter on it. Thank you for introducing the headache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Couldn't make things easy for you on the first <laughs> how many times I have had to issue warnings at competitive REL events because people don't have the, the token and three turns later they're like, oh wait, it should have been oh, blank or mm -hmm. not. And it's like, mm. I I will never forget. And for now, I'm just, just gonna pass my turn. Also suspicious. I only have four, so no ivory tower. <laughs> Draw a card. I am going to play a Jeskai Sage. It's a 1-1 one, one with prowess, and when it dies, I draw a card. Uh, I really don't want to attack my Jeskai Elder in, in, into anything, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. I feel like you should kill that. I'm going to do it right now? 1-1. One, one. I, I think you should. What's it going to get me later in the game? I, I don't know, but uh, I will be very friendly. All right, well... Do you have anything to say, Vivi? While I cannot necessarily offer friendship, I can offer neutrality as opposed to hostility. I was already thinking about hitting the Jeskai Elder. I'm going to do it right now and possibly create hostility towards me, Vivi. Are you, uh, you're getting the Jeskai Elder? It's an X2. No, sorry, sorry. The, the, no, there's too Great. many Jeskai things on the board already. They're, They're all monks. I'm running monk <laughs> tribal. What do you want? This one. Yeah. The one that has the name Jeskai, Jeskai Sage. Sage. Yeah, Shotgun. Jeskai Sage, the, the X1. They really are all named Just the Jeskai. the Jeskai one, yeah. I don't want to stand for this affront. But also, on the other hand, I do rather like the idea of drawing a card. I think we're on uneasy terms. Okay, well... I will draw a card. When the Jeskai Sage dies, I will gain 
an experience counter going up to two. That didn't work out exactly how I had hoped, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna tap a forest and I'm going to play an abundant harvest. Choose land or non-land, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal the chosen type. Uh, put that card into your hand and put the rest onto the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose uh, land. So we're gonna reveal from the top until we find one. And we got one, it is uh, Dark Moss Bridge. Put these in the bottom. That's a proper randomization, right? <laughs> I'll call it good. Tap three, I'm gonna do Arcane Signet for green, and we're gonna play this Mangle Horn. When it enters the battlefield, destroy an artifact. Artifacts opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. I'm pretty sure there's only one artifact on the board, so our ivory tower is going to be no more. That's really unfortunate. You have a lot of life, my friend. Well, you have combat tricks, maybe. I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> I don't want my scroll to die. Draw. Play a swamp. I will move to combat. I will attack nerd girl for five. I'm gonna block with my cat. I'm going to shoot the cauldron familiar with Kelsian. Okay. So that I can gain another experience. Even though it's blocked, I just want the experience. You got it. Our cat hits the graveyard. Oh. I already put the heat on both of you a little bit. I had to be somewhat, you know, commander player-ish. Can't make too many enemies yet. <laughs> yet? Yeah. I will pass. End of your turn, then. I'm going to tap Uvilda and exile multiple choice from my hand. So in three turns, I'll get to cast that for four less, which conveniently is exactly what I want X to be. So now uh, I will untap. And uh, since Zbex did not cast anything on her turn, we are going to go to nighttime. Yes. And that means that Vadrick gets plus one, plus one counter. All my instant sorcerers cost two less. At my upkeep, multiple choice, we'll take down to two hone counters, and then I'll draw. Play an island. Actually, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay four experimental frenzy. So I can look at the top card of my library at any time. I can play cards off the top of my library. I just can't play cards from my hand. <gasps> Except I can play cards from my hand. They're just gonna be late. I can use uh, Uvilda to play the, the instant sorceries out of my hand. And you doubted my abilities. As somebody loves this energy. We can give credit where credit's due. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at this. Classic misplay. I dropped a land before playing Experimental Frenzy. Guess what the top card is? Mm-hmm. Then I will pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Spicy. I'm going to play an island, and then I am actually going to tap all five, and we are going to cast my commander, the Archimandrite. It also has the ivory tower effect, uh, but then also whenever I gain life, uh, each other advisor, artificer, and monk, uh, I control gains vigilance and gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the amount of life I gained. I can also tap three untapped advisors, artificers, and or monks to draw a card uh, and then pass the turn. I do really like this commander. I, I think it's so cool. Zbex, I think we need to make uh, our tr our alliance a little bit stronger here because I'm not liking what's happening over here with this card advantage and the crazy pumps. What you got? I'm making this alliance with Zbex. I'm hoping she'll do some damage to our opponents, but I actually think her board is the real threat. So I'm just gonna sit here quietly, build up some squirrels, and then I'm actually gonna use them to take her out. Any chance you can cast an instant by, by chance? I mean, what do you need it to do? It, nothing specifically. Why am I throwing away an instant? Uh, so that way I can do more damage to them. How does me playing an instant let you do more damage? Does anybody now? feel any like any rain right now? I don't, I, I don't know. So I feel like a storm's coming on. I don't know if I can play an instant in this moment. I apologize. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Well, let's go ahead and start with a naturalize. Question is, is it the Jeskai Ascendancy or is it the Experimental Frenzy? I don't know what I'm more scared of. Any any idea? Do you, Zvex, do you have a, a preference? In my opinion, Experimental Frenzy is going to do more on its own. Um, their army of monks has not yet been assembled, so I'm less concerned at the present time. Okay. 
But yeah. let's let's go ahead with the frenzy then. We're gonna we're gonna kill the frenzy. Yeah, I can't I can't even defend that. I was like, oh, this it, to me this is not a question. Don't say anything. <laughs> I was I was about to to ex, like expose on how bad experimental frenzy is, <laughs> but I didn't need to. Let's go ahead and tap two more, and we're gonna pa cast the verdant command. I get to choose two. I can target player makes two green squirrel creature tokens. Uh, I can counter an ability of an plane walker or I can exile a card from a graveyard or target player gains three life. I'm gonna make some squirrels. So we're gonna make two squirrels from the command and two more squirrels from my chatter fang, which just basically doubles the tokens I make in squirrel form. And I'm also gonna choose Zebex, do you have anything in your graveyard that's scary? I have Smuggler's Copter and I have a huge 8-8 eight eight with Death Touch, but I personally don't really recur my stuff, I don't think. But. Okay, well, I will choose to believe you and I'll gain three. Okay. Yeah, our alliance is growing stronger Great. and stronger by the play. How did this happen? I know. <laughs> you guys have big scary stuff. Those are both very good. And are you sure you can't cast an instant for me? <sighs> okay, are you gonna attack or something? Like, I, I, uh... Like, what, what things have changed? Nerd Girl and I are in an alliance now. But why would I use this powerful instant card in this situation? I could end somebody with this. I'm, I'm, I'm what gonna, what storm uh, card? I'm gonna take it as a no. No, I, this card. I don't. Know, I think oh, there's all been all of this chatter about some sort of storm card. <laughs> I have no idea what it could be. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it as a no, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and cast my chatter storm, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> which uh, creates okay. a one one squirrel token, uh, and then it has storm for every spell that was cast this turn, and I had cast two prior spells, so I get to make three squirrels. So this will go up to five, and then I'll double those for my Chatterfang, and those will go up to five. Um, unfortunately, I am tapped out this turn, so I can't use those squirrels to remove their creatures yet, but I can in the future. Okay. So then I'll pass to you, Zebex. So I would have made two more squirrels to kill their things. I do think that while you having more fodder, the card in my hand could be valuable yep. for us in a later sense. And I am done, so I'll pass the turn. Right, uh, right. Today. Fadric gets one more counter, goes up to two. All my instant sorceries cost three less. And draw. I will play a planes. Nice. I got double white. Let's go. Wrath of God, where are you? Uh, Sure, that's an option too. But currently I'm allied with the squirrels, allegedly. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Until the squirrels find you not useful and it's getting very close. Oh, you're fine. Our allegiance has grown so strong. I will cast Harvester of Souls. Ooh. It is a 5-5 five, five demon with death touch. Whenever another non-token creature dies, I may draw a card. I will move to combat. Attack Vivi with Kelsian for a total of six and with General Kudro for three. Oh, well, uh, I think at this point, I really don't want to lose the commander that I literally just played. Uh, Kudro is two or three? Three, three. Uh, I'll go ahead and block Kudro with the Archimandrite, uh, and then I will take the six commander damage. Okay, I have no responses before damage. Awesome. And then I will pass my turn. Multiple choice, go down to one. Tap three, play Tybalt, Rakish Instigator. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with that. Listen, I was just about to say, we need to start teaming up since they're teaming up. Why don't you say it before I cast the spell then? <laughs> Now I know we're we're all concerned about that first line on on Tibble. That, well, I'm concerned about that first. That line. yeah, I think everyone else is fine with it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use the second part uh, minus two to create a one one red devil creature that uh, when it dies deals one damage to any target. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. so cute. <laughs> it's got a little fireball <laughs> that's going directly at the face of someone that kills it. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so, little guy, rightfully so. The smart thing would be not to do this, but um, yeah, no, I'm here to I'm here to make bad decisions. Uh, Lava Coil targeting Chatterfang. All right, I'll put him in the command zone. 
The squirrels are just an agent of chaos. We have no intention of winning the game. We just, we just intend to mediate and blow up the most dangerous things. They are sleeper agents for my assassin. That's true. I will pass. All right. Uh, well, I would gain life, but someone has decided to not let me. So I guess I'll just draw a card instead. How dare you, Tybalt? Uh, I'm going to play a land, and I would have gained life, <laughs> but someone decided <laughs> that they did not want me to. That you chose violence today? I really have no good attacks because I can't really uh, gain any life. That being said, an olive branch to you. Okay. Uh, instead of casting a spell on my turn, I am instead not so that we move to night and your Vadric gets another counter. They were going to do that anyway. Don't listen to them. That's a lot of mana open. I, I find that hard to I find that hard to believe that, that they wouldn't have played anything. I appreciate it. <laughs> and, and noted. <laughs> I got you. Uh, I would like to pass the turn. All right. I feel like I'm being teamed up on here and I've just got some like cute squirrels. Nothing is doing anything scary and you guys are just being me. It makes an alliance with not us, does some very threatening things and then we <laughs> respond. I feel like I'm being teamed up on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pay for the Chatterfang and then I will do nothing else and I will leave up this one suspicious black mana mm -hmm. and, uh, and say go. On your end step, I will tap Kelsey in to deal one damage to the devil. Devil dies. I get to throw one damage somewhere. But don't kill my squirrels. Leave them be. They're innocent. I mean, it's only one squirrel. Well, then I'll just make it three and kill something. Like, how big is Vadric? How many squirrels would I have to sacrifice to kill him? Five. It's only one more. It's only four more. It's fine. My, my compromise, I'll deal one damage to your face. Great. My squirrel lives. Look at look his little fat cheeks. He's just so happy. About to be put into the meat grinder. <laughs> Shh. He doesn't know yet. <laughs> I'll go up to four experience. <laughs> yeah, on that note, just go to my turn. <laughs> there are a lot of threats on the board right now, and I've got the removal for it, but I want Nerd Girl and Zebex to really earn those pieces of removal. I'm gonna move to combat. I'm going to attack Veggie for five, and I'm going to attack Vivi for seven. Well, yeah, I'm not blocking that. Uh, I am also going to declare no blocks. Uh, do you have anything before damage? I wish. All right. Uh, well, since uh, you can't gain life and I can't gain life, I would like to cast a Swords to Plowshares. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Targeting your commander. I have a response. Ooh. Oh, uh, I also have prowess triggers too. Uh, you can resolve your triggers bef and then I'll, I'll respond to the spell before it resolves. Okay, so prowess trigger here and then uh, all of my things get plus one, plus one, I untap and then I may draw a card. If I do, discard. This hurts. I'm gonna discard a dig through time. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh boy, I'm scared. Well, I at least did that for our game, so. <laughs> I will now respond by dealing one damage to a squirrel. What? I want to gain more experience. So I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna kindly ask you Zbex to not kill my squirrel, because I will respond by sacrificing. just respond by, okay, doing that. Are there any other one toughness things on the battlefield right now? Okay, well then, since you'll just, I will just have Kelsey and go back to the command zone. So I take five from the harvester? Yes. Yeah. I will cast Terranika, a Crowan veteran, a 3-3 three, three vigilance. When Terranika attacks, untap another target creature you control until end of turn that creature has base power and toughness of 4-4 four, four, and gains indestructible. I'll have a general Kudro trigger targets potentially the cat anybody else have any retraceable recursiony flashbacky stuff in the graveyard nope okay i'll do the cat then just because it's the target that has the most memories for everybody it just exiles it on. it's yes. as if a million standard players all sighed yeah. in relief <laughs> i'm gonna pass we're gonna remove the last counter from multiple choice Ooh. And I'm going to cast this with X equal to eight, because I can. <laughs> 
So I will get all of the options for multiple choice, A, B, C, N, D. Uh, I can scry one, draw a card. Uh, I can choose a player to return a creature to their hand. I can make a 4-4. Four, four. So first I will scry one and then draw. Yeah. Yep, going to leave that on top, draw that. So one of you gets to return a creature to their hand. You are the one that picks. So the best target for this effect is Zvex. But, you know, we just talked about our... Our cat. Right. We got rid of it together. (laughs) (laughs) Just also probably don't use that. It's bad. Just murderous. Awful. Don't let PETA call you. This is bad. That's one of those cuts where they're like, you're not going to use this, right? (laughs) It would be kind of cool if you bounced this and I promise not to use its ability on you. I'll just kill the next artifact that one of them plays. No, that's kind of enticing, but um, I'm actually going to target myself. Oh. I'm going to choose myself. So I will return a creature to my hand. I'm going to return <gasps> Vilda. Ah. And then I will make a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. And that's all of my test answers for multiple choice. And then I'll draw. Play my land for the turn, which is a wandering f- fumarole. F- fumarole? I think it's fumarole. Uh, yeah. F- fumarole? Mm-hmm. It's like funeral. But, but like mobile. We know I could play the Uvilda back down, but like the whole reason I bounce it, so I cannot do that. Uh, I'll pass. Would you like to make a token? Thanks. It's not like I have a vested interest in gaining life or anything. They're probably asking you to do it because they have a way to do a damage. I would not. But it was such a nice reminder. That That's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, <laughs> minus two to well uh, to make it uh, another devil. <laughs> so veggie on your end step, I do happen to have something, but you're gonna get something out of this. Too. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, I would like to turn that Tybalt into an elephant. So many gifts. Yeah. Right. Aw, how generous. Asking you to make the token really was a favor. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I had no idea. Prowess trigger doesn't matter, but I am going to loot. There's my gift. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I discarded the Windsguard Crag, and we're good. Uh, upkeep, Ivory Tower effect does nothing, because I'm at three. I really don't like just sitting on my laurels like this, but I think y'all have not given me much of a choice. I'm going to pass. Nice, great. Okay. My squirrels were not doing anything, but I guess they'll do a little something now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap three to green specifically. And we're gonna play a squirrel mob. It's a two, two that gets plus one, plus one for each squirrel on the battlefield. (laughs) That's cute. So it's a uh, 13, 13? It is, yeah, it's pretty big. Is it currently? It, it's a thick boy. <laughs> Real chonky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass. I don't have too much else to do. <sighs> okay. Everybody's turn has been like... <sighs> well, no one can really do anything because Chatterfang is just chilling there with a laser beam, just like... <laughs> Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> oh. Squirrels with lasers? Could, could that be the name of the title of the, <laughs> the title of the episode? Squirrels with lasers. <laughs> I'm going to play a planes for the turn, and I'm going to tap five and recast my commander, Kelsey in the Plague. Ooh. And it's still just as big. Your experience yeah. doesn't restart? Yeah. No, my experience Aww. doesn't restart because the experience ca- experience counters go to the player. Note to self, hold up in one black mana forever. <laughs> <laughs> this Chatterfang is a loaded gun. Nobody wants to commit to doing anything dangerous because as soon as they do, they're going to get their board squirreled down. I will move to combat. <laughs> I'm going to send... Kelsian to Vivi again. I know. I know. Why? <laughs> and I'm going to send Terranika to Nerd Girl. When Terranika attacks, another target creature gains base power and toughness 4-4. So it's a 9-9. I will send 
the harvester of souls at Veggie. Everybody gets some love. Oh, you have your squirrel, Mom. I hope you don't <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we're aligned. So just remember, if you do choose to block it with my squirrel, Mom, I have mana open, and I could sacrifice two humans to destroy a target creature with power four or greater. So I recommend you not just kill it with your squirrel, Mom, or I will do to you what you said you'd do to with your squirrel, like uh, this and yeah, that. Yeah, but, but then you'd sack it plus one of these two, and that seems okay. I think I will block. Look at this alliance now. <laughs> They're crumbling from within. Uh, editor, can we go back to what I was saying that it's only going to be an alliance until it... Uh, She's sh- picking on editor, me! Editor, write that down. I'm not doing anything. It was the lowest power out you, of all of the you creatures. You said it's no longer suited the squirrels. She's Nine, attacking five, me. three. I can see you can't take any damage with your army over there. <coughs> 41 life. You attacked into a... 12 12. I know, I forgot. It's <laughs> It's got two written on it. 13 13. I even was the one to announce it was a 13 13. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I will have to block with my squirrel. It's fine. Uh, we all make mistakes. That's part of the fun of magic. Uh, blocks? Yeah, I think I should probably not continue taking five every turn. Um, consider. What's... If you block with the elephant and the devil you can point the last point of damage from the devil to the harvester, effectively just two for oneing on tokens. I was I was thinking that's that's the that's the move. I'm gonna double block. Devil and elephant to harvester souls. Uh I'm not gonna block at all. <laughs> I'm gonna tap Kelsey in to do a point of damage to the devil. That's my bad. I, 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 uh, <laughs> That's okay. So I, I also I forgot. Great <laughs> recommendation from your fellow counselor. Um, <laughs> I love, that was so smooth. You were just like, hey, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I w- will gain an experience counter mm-hmm. before damage as well. And I'll have to figure out somewhere for one damage to go. I don't think there's anywhere useful for one damage to go. So your face. Ouch. Uh, so we're not in damage yet. Oh. I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, first off, uh, I'm going to trade your commander for a land. <laughs> At least I'm drawing out all of the removal spells now. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I don't have anything in my hand for it, so. But you get a land, a basic land. Right, ramp. Enter the battlefield tap. Ramp. Woo. Um, don't worry, Chatterfang still remembers our friendship, even I, though even though you don't. I would love to have Tyranica just die so I can draw a card. Right. Sometimes right. we forget how big things are, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> elephant will also die to your harvester. There are 12 squirrels in a trench coat. 13 squirrels in a trench coat? <laughs> I will pass. Hmm. Tap and see what I got. One, two, three, four, five, four. Not Evilda. Whoop. For you. I'm so proud. For Nasari. Dean of Expression. At the beginning of my upkeep, I can exile the top card of each opponent's library until the end of turn. I can cast those spells and I can spend mana as though it were any color. Whenever I cast a spell from exile, I'll put a counter on it. I'll play a Frost Boil Snarl as my land for turn. I'll also pay one for a Soul Scar Mage. It's one, two. Ooh. It's got prowess. Yeah, see? My non-combat damage sources do minus one, minus one counter stuff. We got to get to swinging. I think I finally have an okay attack. I'm going to go to combat, and this elemental is going to head your way, Z-Vex. I will just cry and take four. Well, I mean, you can only, you just have to take four. Oh, I don't have to cry. Yeah, yeah. It's Thanks. A, yeah. <laughs> it's her combat. She can cry if she wants to. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can make that a gif, right? Uh, I will pass. And I did cast two spells. So so on your end step, Ooh. before we mm. switch to day, uh, we're at a point where I think that I just need to take the L for all of us. And I hope that both of you understand what I'm about to do. And I'm going to cast War Leader's Helix, targeting Chatterfang. What does it do? Uh, I'm going to deal four damage to target creature or player and gain four life. I also have. Uh, in response to the triggers from all of this, you are you have one, one card. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I have two. Pay a black and I'm going to sacrifice Chatterfang and 
you know, I'll just have one extra squirrel bite the dust. So we're gonna do six creatures at targeting your, your guy. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and then this will go back to the command zone. So I get uh, a two trigger, two card draw triggers or one? Two non-token creatures okay. have died. Okay. The trigger will still resolve, but this fizzles and I don't gain any life. Draw a card. We appreciate your great deeds. So I can finally play either Nykthos Paragon or Tomb of Horrors Adventure. And I think that Nykthos Paragon is gonna be more impactful. So I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna discard Tomb of Horrors Adventure. Okay. Uh, now we move to my turn and then we switch to day. Hey. Play a temple, scry. Put that to the bottom. Now the Chatterfang's not around. I'm gonna pay six for a Nykthos Paragon. Uh, it's a four six. Whenever I gain life, I may put that many plus one plus one counters on each creature I control. Uh, I do this only once per turn. I still can't tag really nicely with my Jeskai Elder, so I'm gonna pass. All right. I don't like that you killed my squirrel friend. He's very sad. You, you we're still friends, right? We're still friends. Great. Okay. For now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't remember what happened last time you said that, and then your creature died. Yeah, and then I lost the game. <laughs> well, I just had this one. Oh, I was second. I'm gonna pay two for a blood artist, uh, which I wish I had a turn earlier. And then I will pay three, and we're gonna cast a Crozen Grip on your Nykthos Paragon. No oh. responding on that one. Mm, yeah. Second. Uh-huh. Yep. And uh, it destroys, so when that happens, uh, target player loses a life, I'll gain a life, and uh, that will also be you. I will draw a card. Well, I, I trust Zbex to not attack me. Um, so squirrel friends are coming in uh, across across the table here as well for wow. uh, seven damage. Seven is a lot less than 13. That's, that's true. Uh, and I will choose to take the seven. And that'll be my turn. Uh, the defenses are down. For three, souls fire, target creature, harvester of souls, deals damage equal to its power to any target, your Jeskai Elder. I will draw another card from a non-token token creature dying. I'll gain a life and I'll make Veggie lose a life. I think I'm going to die co to commander damage. I'm glad that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> but what type? Wait, what? Kelsian costs seven to play now. You're welcome. <laughs> That's <laughs> inflation. Is, actually, this is why I'm kicking out because you're the only one that has removal spells for my <laughs> commander, apparently. I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. I will send Kelsian the Plague at Vivi. And because we like doing more things, I'll send Harvester of Souls at Veggie. I declare no blocks. I'm gonna block with my Jeskai ascendancy. <laughs> Judge. Ju no, it's legal. It's legal. Must be legal, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I would never lie to you. <laughs> no, uh, I am absolutely taking directly to the face. Before <clears throat> damage, I will tap Kelsian to deal one point of damage to a squirrel. I will gain a life and make you lose a life for your blasphemy. Fine, I will lose the life, but go to six experience counters. Kelsian is now a nine nine. The time has come. I'm so glad I didn't throw this card away to nerd girls squirrel storm earlier. Let's see this action happen. I will then cast Tainted Strike, which gives Kelsian plus one plus O oh, and infect until end of turn. Oh no. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. <laughs> now you know the black instant that you're like, you wanna cast an instant? I'm like, no, this could be good later. <laughs> and thank you, hey, Mark hey, Rosewater. Hey, hey, yeah. That hey, is friend. how you hey, infect I, somebody. Can, can you save me? I, I, <laughs> Do I you have a reality shift or, oh, you're out of mana. I'm oh, of mana. I, you know, I could have saved you if Chatterfang was on the field. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, and with that, I'm going to die to a Phyrexian oil-tipped arrow directly to the heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I think that has to be one of the most flashy deaths we've had so far. <laughs> then I'll take five. Move to pass the turn. I have eight cards in my hand. Eight cards? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Harvester of Souls is nice. doing work. I've had one card for like ever. I'll discard Morbid Opportunist. Pass. All right. Uh, at my upkeep, I'm going to exile the top card of each of your libraries. Oh, no. Ooh. Hey, Veggie, you remember that first episode where I beat you down with your own bug? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you can have payback now. All right. Let's see. So we've got a caustic caterpillar and a contagion clasp. And those are cards that I can cast this turn, uh, but no matter what, they will be exiled. I'm going to draw for turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, and play Niv Mizzet the Fire Mind. It's still my favorite. Four, four, flyer. Whenever you draw, uh, Niv Mizzet deals one damage to target creature or player, and I can tap to draw a card. You know, this field is really unfriendly to squirrels. To some squirrels, but there's much chunkier squirrels that are <laughs> certainly fine. There's still a bunch of squirrel blockers, but I think I can swing this elemental and Nasari and Vadric at Zebex. Nice. How much damage is it total? It is 13. I'll take it. All right. Okay. I'll pass the turn. All right. I'm going to need some help because I'm drastically outmanned here. I have a very simple, straightforward turn. I'm going to go ahead and tap three for a Cultivate. I'm just going to grab a forest and another forest. I'm gonna have to attack Veggie with, I think, nothing. <laughs> oh. I don't think. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Veggie, will you not ping my blood artist if I send Squirrel Mob to, to, to Z-Bex? If you do that and also don't hit me with the blood artist. Don't let No, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> six power of Squirrel to you. Oh, it's only six now. That's not as bad as it was. <laughs> Given the amount of cards that I've drawn, I will block and get a draw trigger. Okay. So I'm so jealous of all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Okay. I will cast Rune of Mortality targeting Kelsian. Rune of Mortality enters the battlefield. I'll draw a card. As long as Enchant Permanent is a creature, it has death touch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Zvex might overheat. Not just the camera, <laughs> but I think Zvex might just. <laughs> well, maybe we should cool that down a little bit. Oh no! You have two blue open. I have two blue open, and we're gonna use it in the most two blue way possible. Cast the final card in my hand, which is, in fact, a counter spell. <laughs> I have white in this deck. Manatize it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, frown. <sighs> now I, I I will say that's all I have. That's I'm I'm out of cards in hand now and And tapped out. And tapped out, so I'm just hoping that was that was the thing to take care of. I will cast Onyx Mage. Pay two a swamp and a colorless to give target creature I control death touch <laughs> until end of turn. It's also a two one, in case you care. And a uh, human. Are you sure? Oh, judge, can we get a price check on this oh, yeah. deck? Because this does not seem fair. I'll give Kelsey in the plague yep. death touch. Yep. I will shoot Niv Mizzet with one damage of death touch. Oh, great. All right. So you hit the Soul Scar Mage for one point of damage. And that's uh, that is not how you spell Niv Mizzet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Yep. It's very dead. I will gain an experience counter. And draw a card. And draw Oh, a card. and I'll do one damage. I'm very scared of both of you. I like want to just do it to myself. Um, I'm sorry, Veg, you have more life. It's got to be you. What? I, I'm sorry, it has to be you. This was part of the deal, so I wouldn't kill your thing. You you didn't, said... He didn't get to draw, so you didn't get a chance not to kill my thing. So I feel like I'm vindicated in this. <laughs> wow. Listen, I'm not a judge of contract, but that seems bunk. <laughs> get in the comments. <laughs> in my first main phase, I will cast 
Augusta, Dean of Order, a 1-3. Other tapped creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Other untapped creatures you control get plus 0, plus 0. Oh. And whenever I attack, untap each creature I control, then tap any number of creatures I control. Mm-hmm. So you've got one untapped creature over there. I will move to combat. Yeah. Send Harvester of Souls at Veggie. Uh-huh. I'm not going to block. So I take... Five? Before damage, I will deal one damage at the squirrel mob. It still has it death still touch. Has death touch. <laughs> because I don't have enough mana to do it if I pass the turn. So. Oh, no. So squirrel mob will die, and Z-Bex will take another damage. And I'll gain a life. And then uh, I will gain another experience counter and draw another card. And then I'll take five from the uh, harvester swing? Yes. All right. Upkeep. Can I have the top card of each of your libraries? It's a land. <laughs> I got an evolutionary leap for you, Veggie. That does not help me, because I can only I can only use uh, my mana to pay the cost of the spell and not the abilities. I'm going to tap four to play Chandra Pyromaster. Plus one to deal one damage to target player and one damage up to one target creature, and that creature then can't block zero to exile the top card of my library and complete this turn or minus seven to exile the top 10 and choose an instant or sorcery and copy it three times but we're not there yet there's certainly targets to deal one damage to because then i could take away your death touch i could remove sure. blood artist but then what get rid of the death because i'm out of cards get rid of the death touch reggie we're going to r- roll the dice and I mean, leave it at four. I'm going to exile the top card of my library. She's going to get to kill two things with the death touch. It's your funeral. It's both of our funerals, actually. Uh, that's a card. It's a monk. It's a card it's, that dies to a ping. I have that card. If I was still alive. BB is it, here in spirit. Yes. <laughs> well, that means you have to cast. I have to cast it. Especially since you have no other cards right. in your hand. You might as well. I, uh, I will cast the third path iconoclast. Uh, it's a 2-1. When I cast a non-creature spell, I make a 1-1 one, one, uh, soldier artifact. And I am casting a spell from exile. So Nasari will get a plus one plus one counter. Nice. I'm sure that will matter and tip the tide in my favor. Just like Blue Mage, I'm going to sit here and continue to not do anything and pass the turn. <laughs> Except for the fact that you have no cards in hand, so I'm going to do exactly the thing I'm supposed to do, and we're going to go ahead and cast the Chatter Fang. Oh, look at that one mana that's still available. How convenient. Yeah. Um, I am just going to pass the turn. Okay. Hey. I will draw my card for the turn. <laughs> I'll give Kelsian Death Touch. We'll play Hooded Blight Fang, a 1-4 with Death Touch. Whenever a creature I control with Death Touch attacks, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. So I'm moving to combat. I'm going to declare my attackers. So Kelsian is going to come at Veggie. Harvester is going to come at Veggie. Augusta can chill, but Augusta then gives me the trigger of whenever I attack. I'm going to put that trigger on the stack and respond to it with Kelsian. So I will tap Kelsian. What's the biggest thing I need to get rid of? Is it Nasari? Nasari? Uh, no, it's Vadric, which is a 5 6 right now. Okay, so I'll get rid of Vadric. There's nothing I can do about that. And I will gain an experience counter. Uh, we will let this trigger resolve first, then this trigger will resolve next. So each opponent loses one life and I will gain one life. And uh, I will gain another life from the Vadric dying and Zbex will make you take one. And it was actually um, whenever a creature, it's each instance. So you'll have taken two and I'll have gained two. Okay. Before you can move to blockers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit Nasari. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I'll get another experience counter. Okay. So now now I can make some blocks. Sure. Kelsian is a 12 13 yeah. with death touch. <laughs> Vigilance and haste. Uh. Uh, oh, and the harvester is also coming at me. 
I think my best shot is just get stuff off of your board so that maybe the squirrels can go through. So I will double block here. Okay. So we can move to damage and Harvester will see the Soul Scar Mage and the third path dying. So I'll get two draw triggers. So I'll make, uh, I'll gain four and I'll make Z-Bex take four. Okay. And in my second main phase, <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> We need to protect ourselves. Selfless savior. Ruff, ruff. Another target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn if I choose to sacrifice it. Foreboding ruins. I'll play another death toucher. Fell stinger. A three two with death toy touch. I will not exploit anything. I'm falling way behind and Zbex is huge but I have Blood Artist and a lot of squirrels, so there's a good chance I might be able to kill Zbex just without her even noticing that it's happening. Pass turn, seven Great. cards in hand. Just about to ask. Draw my one card for the turn. I'm gonna zero Chandra, exile the top card. Okay, yep, that's, well, yep. Uh, I'm gonna play this mountain. Uh, you know what, hey, I should cast my commander. Uh, I'm gonna cast Jorian Ruin Diver. <laughs> 2-2, two, two. when I cast my second spell each turn, I draw a card. I'm gonna pass. I, I'll, I'm just gonna hold up this uh, this psych rift in my hand. I'm gonna pay one, sacrifice a squirrel to attempt to do one damage here. Or plus one, minus one. Psych rift is like $28. That's like half your budget. Yeah, yeah no, I, hey, look, I didn't make the deck, okay? I don't wait, know why what? it's in here, what but is? Uh, it's... What is Cyclonic Rift? Not a card in play. No, it, 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 was, oh. it was a joke over oh, here. Oh, I thought I really messed up. I was <laughs> no, like, I put no. a $20 card. I did put no. a $9 card in there, and I was no. like... <laughs> that is all the satisfaction that I needed from this game. I'm, now I'm ready to lose. <laughs> I, I thought I gave you a bad card. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to sack to the one squirrel and attempt to uh, plus one, minus one there. And when a squirrel dies, I will gain one and you lose one. I'm fine with letting Onyx Mage die. Okay. Um, and then uh, you'll lose another point of uh, life for that next creature dying. And then I will attempt to draw something helpful. Um, I need an adult. <sighs> okay. Um, how best to help myself? Pay three, and we're gonna cast a recollect, return target card uh, from your graveyard to your hand. So I'm gonna return uh, the it. verdant command to my hand. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast it for two mana. So uh, I can choose two things. I create two tapped squirrel tokens, um, and I can also, I'll just gain three. And then I'll get to make two tapped squirrels and Chatterfang will make me two more squirrels. Pay one and sacrifice a squirrel to give this plus one minus one. I'll go ahead and sacrifice it to give Kelsian indestructible until end of turn. His uh, last act. You'll lose two, I gain two. Sure. I'm gonna sack my last squirrel here and one here to do two damage there, minus two. And then three things will die. My two plus yours, I'll gain three, and you will take three. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass the turn. You're no longer. You were problematic. Yeah, and I, I, I got swiftly taken care of. And now there's another problem. Yeah, we might as well just put our threats on the table, right? Um, cast. Death Pits of Wrath. <laughs> Whenever a creature is dealt damage, destroy it. It can't be regenerated. I haven't seen this card in years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and now, combat. Before combat, we'll pay one, and we're gonna sacrifice three squirrels to do plus three, minus three to the Dean to prevent you from double pinging. Then I will gain um, four life and you will lose four life. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna attack Nerd Girl with Kelsian. Yeah, I'm gonna send in my Hooded Blight Fang too. Let's just be defenseless. And then before you can move to blockers, I'm gonna shoot the Blood Artist. Okay, uh, the Blood Artist will die and I'll have you lose a life, I gain a life from it. 
Uh, and then this is attacking I gain an me. experience counter. I'm gonna just block with my last squirrel and take the one death touch. And um, you will both lose a life, and I will gain a life. All right, so you blocked Kelsian, right? Mm-hmm. So Kelsian is dead. Why? It's a thirteen, thirteen. That took one damage. Does this? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> God, did she kill her own creature? I guess so. <laughs> Probably. Nobody actually blocks me with this. <laughs> hey. Judge. Judge. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's certainly how it works. <laughs> Whoopsies. I guess that permanent applies to me too, but you don't learn your mistakes unless you let your triggers resolve. All right. Uh, this... Well, yeah, that's how it works. So <laughs> Two from the, the Blight Fang. And to, you, to you gained and then... one, go back to five, I believe? Sure. Okay. I would like to continue adding to the dramatic effect, and I will play Reveal Squad, Rivier Squad. Whenever you're attacked, if Rivier Squad is untapped, you may untap all creatures you control. All right, I'll pass turn. I mean, I'm probably dead anyway to the mm-hmm. squirrel things. So. I've got no more squirrels. <laughs> Look, I For can... For now. I'm squirrel-less. <laughs> As someone who has made many of those types of plays, I I can respect it. Uh, ooh, all right, yep, that's okay. It's cute. I could I could kill something with Chandra, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I need the card, so I'm gonna exile the top card in my library. Uh, yeah, great. Okay, <laughs> let's play that mountain. I, I I don't even have a good attack. I will pass the turn. You have two cards again, Veggie. Oh yeah. Oh no. Okay, all lands. Pay three, and we're gonna play Ion of Ancestry. Creature type gets plus one, plus one, oh. squirrels, and then I can pay three to look at the top cards and uh, put a random creature of that type from among them into my hand and the rest on the bottom in a random order. Unfortunately, I have the least amount of resources, but I just drew this icon of ancestry, so I'm hoping I can use it to dig for some more squirrels and get a little bit of cards to get me back in this game. Um, I'm also going to play a Ivy Lane Denizen. So whenever a creature enters a battlefield, he gets plus one, plus one. And you know what, z Squirrels are coming in for four. Okay, when you attack me, I'm gonna untap all creatures I control. Oh, is that how that works? That would be how that works. Well, they trade, so. Mine doesn't die. Oh, they do. Well, yeah, mine does. <laughs> why, why wouldn't yours die? Mine's a four four. Yeah, it's also four four. It's, it's, I forgot about cards. And play. <laughs> you know what? I'm also I'm also because of this gonna attack for this though. That sounds fair. Two two. Okay, well I'm not gonna block that. Great. And you're gonna block the Chatterfang. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and play a Terramorphic Expanse, and I can search for uh, a basic land and put it onto the battlefield tapped. I'll search with you. All right, oops. We, we still do some things together as friends. Yep. My turn? Yep, that'll be your turn. What card is causing the biggest problem right now? Now it's Chandra. Your death pit of wrath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I need to gain life, that's what needs to happen. Overseer of the Damned. When it enters the battlefield, I may destroy target creature. Whenever a non-token creature an opponent control dies, create a tap 2-2 black zombie creature token. I'm going to destroy... <coughs> get, yeah, get rid of the Ivy Denizen thing. And I will create a 2-2 black zombie token, please. Veggie, draw the fireball I put in there. I'm trying. Disciple of Bolas. Mm. When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice another creature. I gain X life and draw X cards or X is that creature's power. I'm going to just do the zombie. Everything else is too important. Okay. Okay. So I will gain two life, draw two cards, and pass the turn. All right. Here's one fireball. Okay. Yep. I'm going to zero Chandra for another fireball. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll cast the Young Pyromancer. So now each uh, every instant and sorcery I cast gives me a 1-1 one, one elemental. Cast another spell so you could draw. Hurry. Oh, oh yeah, okay, so uh, I'm gonna combat. <laughs> I'm going to activate uh, Wandering Fumaroli. It's a 1-4. 
I'm, I'm not going to be blocking with this. Swing both of these. Okay. I have no blocks. Cool. I'm going to switch its power and toughness uh, to make it 4-1. So you'll take six. Yeah. And that's my turn. Let's hope I can find something here. Yeah. Otherwise, you might be dead next turn. I don't know. I can't count, though, either. So I'm going to tap icon of ancestry and i look at the top three cards if there's a squirrel i may put it into my hand show you guys and there is not so <laughs> gonna pay one for a nested shambler uh when it dies i make x tapped green squirrels where x is nested shambler's power pass the turn because i got nothing all right i think we can try to make some more moves here now we're gonna try a land for the turn i will recast kelsian the plague for nine so ta-da don't attack because that's how i die we're not going to make that mistake again kelsian is just going to deal two damage to manglehorn is it two or no it's it just it's one, one but it just but dies. it's destroyed just so, got it yes and then i will get an experience counter we're getting close I'll play Gorgon's Head. A quick creature has death touch. Uh, mm. I will tap two to equip Gorgon's Head to Overseer of the Damned. Combat and attack Chandra for five because you need to stop drawing cards. Oh, well, can't stop flying. And I will pass turn. Oh, and when Kelsian killed Nerd Girl's creature, I make a zombie off of Overseer of the Damned. Yeah. All right. It's fine. I'll, all I need is this one card. The one that's right on top. This is the one that I need. Yep. Oh, if I go to combat and um, I attack you, Z-Banks, that untaps your thing. It does. I could use them. Mm -hmm. I can help tap to get rid of other permanents. Right. Is Which my 1-1 one, one the... shamble yeah, not... guy so scary? You just have the highest life right now. Right. I, by a significant margin. I have a 1-1 one, one and no cards in hand. I'll swing Jorianne at you, Zemax, and swing this for you. There you go. Um, I'll block it with this. Okay. I'll block with my zombie. This dies, I make a squirrel. One, two, three. I'll make three tapped zombies. Second main phase, recast Jorianne. One, two, three, four, five. I guess that's it. Veggie, why are you just making life harder for both of us? All you did was make more zombies. I don't understand. I know, I know. But if I can take out Nurgirl with Zbex's help, maybe I'll top deck a burn spell to finish the game off and get a cheeky win. All right, let's start by cycling this uh, slippery karst. And I'm gonna go ahead and pay, play a forest for turn, pay three. And we're gonna dig for a squirrel. We're gonna look at the top three cards and attempt to find one. We're gonna miss, but we're gonna get rid of three more lands off the top. So that's that's good. That's five in a row. You know, little squirrels staying home. So pass the turn. On your end step, I'll deal a point of damage to it and gain an experience counter. Normally it wouldn't die because it's a due to, but Un why would you untap that? And, and I'm gonna get another, uh, no, it's non-token, non-token. I just have three. Draw. <laughs> so the thing with magic is they they make <laughs> mechanics and then they use them again. I will cast Minthara, Merciless Soul. It's a 2-2 two -two with Ward X, where X is the number of experience counters you have. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, you get an experience counter. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero for each experience counter that you have. We did it, folks. Uh... We top decked. Just send Kelsian at you, and then I will send the the rest of the th the things that veggie so i think the one in the air might be enough to do it i died a commander damage that's more than 21 right mm -hmm. all right i'm dead no the squirrels okay so um how much is the flyer uh the flyer is an 18.5 Great. Okay, so uh, I die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Good game. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is absurd. Oh.
I couldn't believe that Minthara was there waiting for me to use all of my experience. And if I hadn't taken out Vivi a little bit early on, I think they would have gotten the ground they needed to take care of all of my stuff. So I'm glad I did that. I shouldn't have killed Chatterfang. I admit it. Nerd girl could have saved me. That was my mistake. I drew a bunch of cards, but it wasn't enough. I probably should have played my commander a little earlier. <laughs> that was super close. I was only a few points away from killing Zbax. I think I kind of missed a few points by attacking Veggie. Lesson learned. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to hit like if you liked it and subscribe if you really liked it. And if you really liked it, just like our patron, Titanium Texan, who submitted today's Chatterfang deck list, you can visit us at Patreon where you can check out all the cool perks. And another great way to support us is by checking out the sponsors of the episode. We have links down below for Cool Stuff Inc., EDH Rec, and Dragon Shields. Well, we'll see you next time on Decked, Decked Out. Out.